Thank you. I'm trying to ignore it. I don't know that's out of the way. It kept happening. What I tell you? See, I returned in. I'm trying to see how I got in. You just happen to be sick. Yeah. We need Quentin. Welcome back to part two of the Ready to Love. Let's lighten the load up a little bit. <laughs> it was time for a little R&R. &R. Let's see what went down during the Ready to Love retreat. How does it feel to reflect? <laughs> <It's> great. <laughs> Where do you think it all went wrong, man? You know what? I don't know. What do you think the underlying reason for all of that? Um, a difference of opinion is okay. For me, it's how people talk to me. Janelle can be very belittling. Yes. yes. The issue with her is, even though we had a difference of opinion, it's like I can hear you out. But the second that I have a different opinion from you, you get very, like, just... Combative. If she rubs you the wrong way and then y'all have a difference in opinion, you don't think that plays into factor? She didn't rub me the wrong way until she started talking to me disrespectfully. You know, Tommy, what's so interesting about this process is the obsession with me. Girl, bye. I'm sorry. <laughs> Somebody spare me. Nobody is obsessed with you. My presence, by me simply walking the room, challenges their mediocrity. And that is not my problem. It's crazy talk for people who don't have connections. Everybody who has a problem with me went home. You talk so much. Yeah, it's so hilarious. Can I say this? Like, you are just, Can I say this? You're ridiculous. You're like you the, the are star of the show. Girl, we don't care about you. We just don't you like do. your attitude. You do, though. I don't like your attitude. You do. When you address you me, care about have me. Respect. When you address me, have respect. The Girl, rest of what you do, I don't care. Your track record from episode one Listen. to the end is terrible. How you went you not go you were right here. Next How about time. this? Next, just don't like me and just don't please. like me quietly. Girl, you're delusional. Right. Next. Okay, there we go. Next. Please. Let's agree that um It's okay to disagree, you know, have your arguments, go back and forth and speak your stance. I just didn't like the black women talking about each other in that presence. Here's what it is. Coming up, we have a special sneak peek at OWN's newest show. You know what it is? At the beginning of the process, the ladies looked at Chris as the Nigerian Prince Charming. Would he swoop in and save the day or leave our damsels in distress? You don't know about me. So you and everything about you. Chris did two piece with it. <laughs> Chris, Chris, yeah. Chris, 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 Chris. You denied calling her combative. Let's let's correct it. I said we have combative situations. I did not call her combative, and all the guys called her combative at one point. Right. He said it twice in the interview, like, she's combative, she's combative. Did all the guys call her combative? Yeah, no, no. Mario, come did. on, man. That you never oh, said that she was combative. On my, on my daddy's grave, I never said that. You, you ain't even being transparent and real yourself. Yes, you talk I've about all this, this deep black stuff, but you're not exuding it. How? I don't, don't act like that. You no. legit just said, bro. We had this combative moment, we had this combative moment. I think it's a little combative. And then in the day, you said you are combative. 
clearly you've said this. What I see that I did not see is how we spoke to the sister. That you got to understand Ab that's out of line. Absolutely, and that's why I apologize to her. And even to this day right now, I will apologize for what I said. I'm never going to apologize for how she made me feel. Why were you emotional? Because I'm sitting in front of someone that has no regard. What is she saying that's triggering this? The bullying, the an an antagonistic behavior throughout the whole process. But is it throughout the whole process because we, you guys were a connection at the yes. beginning? Did I not say that? Did I not say, hold on, did I not say that? Oh, okay, they mutes. Got hey. it. Oh, okay, we're not, we're not mutes for her. I we're listening to the conversation. I, just, I, just, I don't have to answer you when you ask. You're my mom. At the end of the day, let's just agree to disagree. But let's agree on this, that we got to speak to our sisters the right way. At Absolutely. all times, we got to speak to our women with Absolutely. the utmost respect. Even though where the magnitude it went to, she still doesn't deserve me saying that. My feelings were true, and I can't deny that. I was like, really apologetic. going there, but you, you, okay. just, you won't let me finish? Let's leave it where it is. Let's just leave it where it is. Stay tuned. We'll be checking in with Kira. Things are about to get spicier than a Texas chili cookout. Aries came into this process. But just when her connection with Philip was just starting to feel... Let's take a look back at Aries and Phil's journey. How did it feel for you to choose Aries, but she chose herself? Were you disappointed? No. My disappointment was a week and a half before that. What made you choose yourself? I've been married twice. I'm more in a phase where I need stability, which I, he doesn't like that word, but... I hate it's it. You have all these dreams that I might not be in the right season of my life to be there for you. He wants to be a comedian. He wants to do, like, he had a couple things that he wants to do. I made a mention in about stand-up comedy, but I had done that so long ago, but this experience brought a lot of healthy rejuvenation to want to write again. I have a full-time gig. Um, <laughs> From what? Phil is saying is solid on that end. Can that possibly change anything for you guys? Potentially. It wasn't just one thing. It was that. It was a couple other things as well. That was your main one. That was a big one. Maybe I can't be everything that she want. And I'm still enough for me. You guys are still connected, still oh. going on dates. <laughs> we had a couple. Y'all ain't gonna cuss each other out? Y'all ain't gonna... No, gonna not at all. all. I'm hey. mad that we were sitting this far away. I'm just joking about y'all cussing each other out. It, <laughs> it just feels a little different right now. No, it's, it's I've been never. through a lot tonight. Okay. <laughs> Football is a way of life in Texas. And when our cheerleader, Miss Kira, showed up, it had the men doing backflips. But... <laughs> Let's see Kira's final drive for love, and did she make it to the end zone? How did you go from being the fun, bubbly girl to this whole culture thing? I was really baffled with Marie. I was actually more concerned for her, like, yo, I don't know what a connection would look like between me and you because of my lifestyle. I'm a part of a small sector of black consciousness. That is a different level than just like Beyonce concerts. You know what I mean? You were like, I have black family, I do black business, and I was kind of baffled by that. I was like, I have black family, I do black business. I think I may be too black for her. Bruh, do you not, do you not see that I'm black? I'm not taking a jab as to, oh, Kira gotta get her together. I'm actually like, well, I wouldn't want to bring Kira into a position where she would feel uncomfortable. 
I guess it's how you presented it. You have to be fit in this box. Maybe this is how Quentin felt when I said something about him liking white women. And that's when Janelle was like, uh, you know, did her thing. And so... Where'd you get that from? I, he's from Florida. He's probably not quote unquote white women, maybe Latino women. Maybe I should have said that. <laughs> <laughs> I think that we all prejudge each other. Half of this cast prejudged me. Facts. People prejudge people all the time. But when I do it, it seems offensive. But when other people do it, it's like acceptable. It's funny to hear how you feel boxed in. But then you box me into only liking white women. What did I present or what did I do? For you to that feel boxed for, in. It was a vibe and I just simply say, I just don't think it would work out between me and you because of this. Yeah. And this is the reason. And I receive. As black people, we are not monolithic. So let's remember why we are here. We looking for love, right? Yes, sir. Love does what? It comes in all different shapes, sizes, and cultures. So that's what we should be focusing on. Absolutely. Later in the show, we're jazzing things up in New Orleans when four past ready-to-love favorites. One thing we've learned. Growing up, Janelle wasn't planning on going halfsies with Lee. She wanted him all to herself. Watch this. Fun fact, never played ping pong in my life. Fun fact, never have I. Thank you for popping my virginity. <laughs> you! You struggled to try to manage these two connections. I did. In my regular dating life, you know, if I'm dating one person, I'm focused on that person. It was just difficult to give them both 100% throughout the whole process. It wasn't like, oh, I'm so disappointed. I think he's going to pick her or whatever, because you couldn't pick me at a certain point. It was definitely. The narrative that is trying to be applied here is ridiculous. Quinn can do what he wants to do at any time. Well, you like... have. You're just no, continuing no, to lie. Hold on one second. Janelle is not doing any of those things. You just lie. You're making him very uncomfortable. Sweetheart, were you uncomfortable? No, nah, I was never uncomfortable. I never, I never felt like I wasn't allowed to explore my connections or talk to other women. What happened was he was no longer interested, and that is what happened. In the house, you're saying you said absolutely nothing. You Me? said you had I said no nothing to this man to no, keep no, him no, no, from no. Just you. In general, like when we had any type of interaction. I don't know if you're like, I, like you're just not oh aware of yourself God. or if you're Please, just a liar. Stop, stop. If you're, Please, you, you, you that is not what happened. They have, girl. They have the context. I really don't have to do this. I don't like going back and forth with people who are not aware of themselves. Lee, me being uncomfortable had nothing to do with what Janelle. Of course. Were you uninterested in Lee? The house definitely showed that. I was more so interested in Janelle. Clearly, you guys are not a connection. But tell me about you. How are you now? I'm wonderful. Um, I'm back focused on work. Okay. <laughs> You tell me to make time for love and stuff. I definitely think that it will find me in due time. Did you learn something on this journey? Yeah, I about did. About yourself? I stretched myself a lot on this journey. I wish you well in your search for love. Thank you, thank you. Keep searching. Let's see if they kept their eyes on the prize or just couldn't cross that finish line. What was it about Quentin that drew you in at the beginning? Quentin and I, we quietly met at the mixer. I genuinely laughed with her, and I hadn't really laughed like that 
throughout the whole mixer. And then so it was. What made this, this spark come together? It was easy. It was easy. Yeah. Effortless, huh? We just didn't have the issues. We didn't spend a lot of our time in correction mode. Thanks. Janelle, did you have any doubt that you would choose him and he would choose you? There was a moment where um, Herbert was up for elimination and Quentin was up for elimination too, or, or so I thought. And I was so worried about Quentin. When I'm around him, I'm very like schoolgirl giddy. I'm like, oh, <laughs> Quentin. <laughs> One of the biggest things that attracts me to Janelle is her aura. When she walks in a room, you put us together and it was just electric. Like, I hate to use that like term, but I don't think there was ever. Okay. <laughs> What's the status of your relationship now? Oh, I want to see this. We hit some bumps on the other side. Out of this process, he's who I want. You even told us that the work doesn't stop when the process stops. So we're romantically pursuing each other, but yes. we're dealing with the day-to-day. -day. Yeah. Yes. Okay. That, yeah. Was, that, was, that was a great... If we're getting into a relationship, we're getting married. Okay. I wish you well. Thank you. Here's a special sneak peek at OWN's brand spanking new show, Ready to Love, Make a Move. I just want to thank y'all for showing up. Me and Unique have a cool friendship. Okay. Right now, you know, we just communicate sometimes. For me, honestly, I'm being more intentional, and that's um, including, like, places I go. This is the last time we're going to be together. Anybody want to shoot their last shot? Is this exclusive? <laughs> <laughs> I hope I look back and hear some wedding bells. I DJ y'all uh, receiving. <laughs> I'm playing sax, bro. <laughs> That's it for Ready to Love Dallas Reunion Special. <laughs>